Hello, my name is Matt Gwykowski. I use he, him pronouns, and I serve as the Associate Director for Academic Initiatives here at Virginia Tech. Today, I'm standing in front of the newest residential community, the Creativity and Innovation District Living Learning Program. This 596 bed facility is a new type of community and will be home to student athletes, students of the pre-existing Studio 72 and Innovate Living Learning Communities, and students of a new LLC called Rhizome. Never before has a partnership quite like this existed with the entire first floor of the building being academic space, meeting rooms, classrooms, maker spaces, a performance studio and practice rooms to name just a few highlights. Dr. Tim Baird, Associate Professor of Geography will be joining this community as the inaugural faculty principal. In this role, Dr. Baird will host community-wide events and opportunities for all students in CID, regardless of their specific affiliation. If you are an incoming first-year student and are interested in CID or one of the specific LLCs within it, you can find out more on our website, llp.vt.edu, and you can also apply through the Star Res housing portal now through June. Please email us at livinglearning at vt.edu if you have any questions. Thanks and go Hokies! Welcome to the Creativity and Innovation District at Virginia Tech. CID will be a part of the Universal Design Standard at Virginia Tech, with ADA accessible entrances and spaces throughout the building. There are three entrances off of this main concourse. When you enter CID, you first come to this large community space with tables and a large display on the wall. This collaborative common area is two stories with a glass handrail surrounding the second floor where you can look down into the community space. If you're outside, you can look all the way into this main space. That's a key benefit of the all glass design, breaking down barriers between the collaborative spaces inside and outside, always welcoming the university community in. In CID, you're always able to look out or look in at what's going on around you. To one side of this main hallway, we come to a multimedia library with modular furniture, whiteboards, and TV monitors all around the space. To the other side, we have an arts wing. These walls have a plywood backing that can support displaying student art projects that, due to the all glass front of the building, will be visible inside and outside. This art wing opens to a large seminar room and two art studio teaching labs. The seminar room features a pipe grid system in the ceiling where you can hang modular lighting, speakers, cameras, and other equipment. In the teaching labs, lots of natural light will fill the space, and there are cubbies in the wall to store artwork and materials, as well as individual changing rooms for models that may need to come in or out for projects. From this room, you can look through and out into the performance area courtyard. Here is the large performance venue, featuring acoustic glass and chevron patterned sound panels on the wall for quality acoustic control. A curtain can roll down to cover the main windows for certain performances that rely on precise lighting and other visual effects. This rear wall will accommodate specially fabricated bleacher style seating. The seating can roll in and out to configure for different types of performances and different audience sizes. To the side, we have instrument storage including a grand piano and smaller instrument storage spaces. This is a view into the still-in-progress makerspace for the College of Architecture and Urban Studies. There's a corridor wall with glass for natural light, as well as an exterior entrance specifically for deliveries and moving large equipment and other items around. Many of these first floor areas will connect to outdoor courtyards. On the Kent Street side, we'll have a makerspace courtyard where anything made inside can be easily rolled out and placed on display for the entire university community to enjoy. The performance hall will also feature its own courtyard. Moving on to the second floor, you can see this large community lounge that opens out into the first floor common area and is located next to the elevators. The second floor has apartments both for our student life coordinators who live in the building and will supervise the RAs that live here, as well as for visiting faculty members serving in residency or visiting to give a performance or masterclass. 
This is the visiting faculty member apartment, where two visiting faculty can share a common living space, kitchen, and laundry unit, and have their own bedroom and bathroom areas. We also have a large apartment for our faculty principal. Dr. Tim Baird is our inaugural faculty principal for CID and will live in this space along with his family. This entertainment space is central and can accommodate almost 50 students for meetings, discussions, dinners, and more informal get-togethers. It also opens out onto a faculty apartment courtyard and patio. Here we see the Studio 72 Living Learning Community Makerspace. It opens up into its own outdoor courtyard. This room has two entrances, as well as a garage-style door that can be opened to the hallway outside for exhibits open to the broader audience. Flooring will feature an epoxy coating, so if any paint is spilled, it's easy cleanup. There's also an auxiliary cleaning room for art supplies. This is a typical lounge space with beautiful views outside to the broader campus, water fountains, and plenty of space for students to gather. CID features these suite style rooms for athletes, featuring a shared bathroom and living space. And here is a traditional style double occupancy room for our living learning community students in CID. Each room will house two students and feature two beds that can be lofted, two wardrobes, two desks, and heating and air conditioning. Many of the rooms feature beautiful views outside to campus or to other parts of CID. Here you can see the pod style bathrooms, a new, more gender inclusive style of bathroom facilities, where sinks and mirrors are open, but six potted, conjoined toilets and showers can be locked while they're in use by students. On the exterior of the building, you will find the heraldry crests for CID, values that anchor the community in hope, artistry, friendship, creativity, learning, and service. Virginia Tech Class of 2025 students can apply to live here right now in the StarRest portal as a part of their housing contract. For more information about CID, including a live construction camera to check in on the progress, visit llp.vt.edu slash CID.